What are you doing, Ash? <laughs> Last time we made a robot with four legs. Mm, today I want to make with only two legs, but seems just won't stand. Yeah, but I think animals with two legs usually have a bigger foundation, so they can stabilize themselves. Ah. Like humans, like that. So it, smart foot? I you? don't think we can do it with the smart feet. It can barely stand up, let alone walk. You're right. So what exact modules we can use for foot? Uh, not the smart foot. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's the gibbon monkey I made earlier. That's pretty funny, huh? Hey, let's use the suction cup as a feet. Suction cup? Yes, that's right. Good one, let's do it. So here's our electronic suction cup. Mm -hmm. It uses the electronics to make a vacuum and cling wow. to the surface. So you just have to remember that it has to be perfectly level, perfectly parallel to the surface that it's going to cling to or it can't leak the vacuum. So if it's tilted a little bit, it won't ah. form a seal. So in this case, I cannot directly use a suction cup to my clickbot because in the leg structure won't make the direction that good. Yeah. So I think we need to make a new leg. Yeah, let's make a new leg. So mm -hmm. suction cup, joint, yep, and skeleton. Yeah, skeleton. So first, and then add the skeleton. Ah, I see. So the joint here will adjust the direction and make it can perfectly parallel to the surface. Mm. Got it. Make a another joint and same thing here. Make a neck and put the head too tight, Jake. What do you think? It's um yeah, look. The it's... legs are hitting each other. Mm. I can use walkers to increase the space and also prevent it from you know, breaking apart. Yeah. So how to make it walk? Mm, Jake, how do you walk? Easy. First, I lift up a leg, mm -hmm. then I move it forward, then I put the leg down. Three steps for one step. Then mm. I repeat the process for my other leg. Okay, easy. So let's make click by walk. Let's do mm. it. So first we have to start with the default position. Yep. This is pretty good. Right leg forward, left leg back, stand still. Okay, default, added. Added. Yep. Next. Lift up the left leg. Lift up the leg. Okay. Add it. Add it. Mm -hmm. Now move the left leg forward. Okay, make a big step. There we go. I'll hold okay. it for you. Add it. Okay. Add it. Finally, put yep. the left leg down. Okay. Now we have to remember, suction cup has to be ah. perfectly parallel. Okay, so let me find a perfect direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's good. Very okay. nice. Add it. Mm. All right, finished. We've yep. got our one step. Now we want to make sure we go slow and steady. So I think you should adjust the time interval. The time interval, make it about more than one second for each movement. Yeah. Okay. Okay, done. Let's test it out. Let's test it. If you have a suction cup on the robot, it'll automatically show you icons for controlling the suction cup, like here. Left one is for the left suction cup, but not always. Test it first. Okay, so the left suction cup is solid. Okay, let's test it. Mm, very good. Feels good. So let's execute the left leg movement. Go. Mm, perfect. Very nice. And left. Okay, perfect. And we release the right one. Okay, yes. we're done. Okay, now remember, if it doesn't have a good suction seal, it's okay, just go back to the previous step and you might have to adjust the angle that the suction cup has with the surface. Right. So, can... so let's complete another step so ClickBot can walk. No problem. I think the same logic with the left leg, um, just a default motion, which is um, already good, right? Mm -hmm. Add it, add it, add it, and we are done. Let's test it out. So first, uh, right suction cup and move the left leg. Okay. All right. Left suction cup and release the right suction cup and move right leg. Okay. And right suction cup on again. Done. Pretty good. Yep. All you have to do is repeat the steps over and over and click bots walking. Okay. So next, um, left suction cup and wait. I'm lost. Uh, left cup, left leg, right suction cup, right. 
But there are easier ways to complicate control like that. There is. Yeah, we could try using Blockly. Blockly lets us make the legs and the suction cups work together and ClickBot can walk by itself. Oh, that's great. So no need to manually control. Let me go to the Google Blockly and find the functions. So we can find it under actuators. Okay. There's two blocks that we need. One is to start suction and the other is suction until success. Okay, so what's the difference? What does this mean? Start suction means the suction cup will start to suck and it will continue uh, trying to make a vacuum seal no matter what. It doesn't matter, it will keep going. Okay. Suction till success means it will start trying to make a vacuum seal, start sucking, and when it realizes that it's successfully attached to the surface, then the program will move on to the next step. Okay, so in this case, I would like to use the second one because I want ClickBot to attach successfully every time. Exactly, mm. perfect. Let's do the complete logic. Yep. Step one, attach the left suction cup until success. Okay, left suction cup until success, done. Okay. Next, detach the right suction cup. Mm -hmm. Detach the right suction cup, okay, done. Now we can move the right leg. Okay, hmm, move the right leg. Um, do I need to program the joint movement? Seems a little bit hard. Yeah, it is pretty complicated. So you actually don't have to do the joint movement. Look, the demo motion we have programmed is actually available here under motions. Oh, I see that. And there are two approaches. One is execute to the end. The other is start execution. I guess I'm gonna use execute to the end. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now let's finish programming it out. Okay. So here, back to step four. Mm -hmm. Attach the right suction cup until success. Okay, attach right suction cup until success. Step five. Got it. Detach the left suction cup. Okay. And finally, mm -hmm. move the left leg. Move the left leg to the end. And then we'll go back to step one and repeat over and over again. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's test it out. Let's do it. Left, no problem. Right leg, suction cup, logic is good. Hmm, we did a great job. So I think I want to make it walk more than one time. So let me just copy and paste. Give me some time, okay? Copy and paste? How many times are you gonna do that for? That's way too complicated. I have a much easier one. Oh, what way? Tell me. Under logic, you can use the loop function. Okay. Select the loop clause. The loop clause. And I guess I need to include the whole block in the loop, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do that again. Okay, one step. All right. All right. All right. Another stab. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How did I stop? The uh, X. The oh, X at the okay, top. Okay, okay. So the X in the top left will terminate the program. Okay. Oh, almost <laughs> fell. Oh, so the. That was close. <laughs> so the loop is a continuous, endless loop, right? Yeah, it's continuous unless we tell it not to be continuous. And there's so... a couple ways we can do that. So you can do things like loop until something happens, or mm -hmm. if something happens, then loop, mm -hmm. or even easier. If we want ClickBot to walk a certain number of steps, we can do loop for a certain number of times. Okay, so in this case, I prefer loop for how many times? Mm. Hmm, so uh, what do I do to fill in the circle here? So go into operators, mm -hmm. loop for... Find the number. How many times and yeah, what, okay. what, what, any number. Sure, I'll do three. Very nice. Oops, it's going to fall off again. Okay, that's enough. I think it was a success. Yeah, very impressive. Since this clickball can walk like that, I think it can climb stairs too. Check this out. Do a flip. Well, slow, but uh, scale up Look, nice. Good one, huh? That was pretty good. Yeah. Let's see the okay. stairs. Three. Alright. Go. Oh. You can do it. Oh, nice. Got it. Okay. Done. Very nice. That was awesome. Splendid, right? What else we can do with the suction cup? 
What do you think? I think we can do anything with a suction cup as long as the surface is big and flat and smooth. Mm -hmm. I think the suction cup can work on anything. Okay, and let's go check them out. What a wonderful day! I never know that with suction cup, ClickBot can perform so many funny stuff like moving itself, moving other objects, do competition, or even do pranks. Yeah, and we learned how to use the suction cup in Blockly programming. Mm. Most importantly, we learned the basics of programming logic sequential structure and the loop structure. That's right. And do you have any more ideas on how to use the suction cup or simply adapt the basic programming skills for your own creation? Please share with us in the community. Till next time. Bye-bye.